him, Jesus, little lamb, ever glad at heart I am. For my shepherd gently guides me, knows my need and well provides me, loves me every day the same, even calls me by my name. Welcome to this week's Sunday School video. Today, or rather, the Sunday School video this is for um, is Good Shepherd Sunday. And so if you've watched the uh, church video, you will have heard from John chapter 10 about Jesus being the Good Shepherd and the door, uh, the, the one watching out for his sheep. Uh, we are actually not going to go to John 10 here. We're going to go to Luke chapter 15. If I can open up my marker, we'll go there anyway. Verses 1 through 7. And in that, we learn about how Jesus told this parable. Uh, he told this story of how there was a shepherd. So a shepherd is the guy that takes care of the sheep. And that was a really big deal back in Jesus' time uh, to have the sheep. They um, needed to take care of them in some way. And there are people who are still shepherds in other countries. And in a sense, any farmer that has sheep, I guess you could call a shepherd too. But uh, the sheep uh, were walking along. There were a hundred of them. And, well, one of them decided that it was a good idea to go somewhere else. All the other 99 sheep were hanging out over here where the shepherd wanted them, and the one sheep decided to go somewhere that he shouldn't have. That's kind of like us. We, um, we don't always want to listen to what God says. Uh, we disobey what his word says. We do, we sin. We disobey our parents. We hurt people, we tell lies, all this different stuff. And so when that happens, we're that little sheep that's bouncing away, going and finding whatever trouble we can get ourselves into. But uh, Jesus is our shepherd, and he loves us very much. And he wants to make sure that all of his sheep are in that fold. All of his sheep are in the right place. So in this story, in this parable that Jesus tells, the shepherd actually goes out to find the sheep that went away. He doesn't just go, oh, well, I still have 99 out of 100. That's 99%. That's a good grade, right? No. He goes out and he tries to find his sheep, his lost one. And he finds it and he carries it home. He carries it back to where the other ones are. I'm not sure I could draw a good picture at all of the shepherd carrying the sheep, so. So our little friend here is back with the other 99. And the shepherd, he doesn't just go, all right, got it back, I'm just going to watch him again. No. He starts talking to his other friends. He's like, hey, I lost a sheep. And I went out searching for that sheep. Let's have a party because I found it. Jesus loves us so much. He would go out and find. If it was just you or just me that got lost, he would go out and find us and he would bring us back and he would be so happy. He's so happy when somebody is brought into his fold. We are brought into his fold in our baptism. We are brought into his fold when we believe in him and what he did for us. So there are a lot more of us that are wandering around doing the wrong things than just one, like in this story. But Jesus decided to come and catch, uh, try to catch us all. Some, some people just keep wandering away from him, but everyone that believes in him, well, they go back to the fold. And Jesus came, and he had to do more than just search for us. We had a debt to pay, and we couldn't pay it no matter what. We couldn't pay it with money. We couldn't pay it by trying to do all the good things possible. Because 
even when we did all the good things possible, we would still fall into a sin somewhere along the line. So Jesus came down, and he didn't just search for us. He wasn't just, um, you know, a nice little shepherd guy that found that extra sheep. He came down, and he died, which was the debt that had to be paid. He was perfect throughout all his life. He never sinned, ever. He never disobeyed his mom and dad. He never lied. He never hurt his friends. He never did um, something wrong that his teacher told him not to do. He did everything right. He followed all the laws, and he followed all the rules. And then he died. He doesn't deserve to die, but he did it anyway, so that he could find us, those lost sheep that are bouncing around, doing the wrong thing, going in the wrong place. And then, at our baptism, he's having a party. He brought us back into the fold. He has, he has us now. So that is what that Luke passage talks about that I had put up on the board earlier. So the Luke passage is the most accurate account that you can find it in. So I definitely uh, recommend you go watch the church service and hear more about it from John chapter 10 and that you just keep remembering that even though you're a little sheep in a way, bouncing around, getting lost, you have the best finder in the world searching for you. You have the best finder in the world finding you, scooping you up in your baptism, scooping you up and in, in bringing you to believe in him. Jesus loves you. I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait for us to be back together again. And from what I understand, that's sooner than later. All right. Have a great week. God bless.